Warning! This tutorial is not for beginners. This is just a cool trick that I figured out. Ideal, you're going to want some experience in SFM and the basics in animation. I provided links to everything down below that should help you learn, including a video that actually helped me a ton back in the day. With that said, let's dive in. This is Frankie. We're joining him today in a nice fancy restaurant. Frankie is starving, and the only way to order food is to snap your fingers and step to twos. If you do it wrong, you get sent straight to Human Resources where Dick Kick and will kick your gum for 20 days straight. Frankie doesn't know how to snap his fingers and step twos, so there's only one place he's headed. You wanna dance? In order to help Frankie enjoy a nice meal and avoid certain doom, we need to learn how to animate in step twos. First of all, load in a map and a model. Make sure that you apply a rig to your model as we're going to be using one. And if you want to set up a scene first, go nuts! Now that you've got your character and scene set up, select your character, go into the graph editor and press M. This is going to apply a keyframe to every bone you have selected. Since we've selected the entire character, all the bones will have a nice big old keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Animating in twos is literally just popping down a keyframe, moving along two frames and popping down another one. It keeps everything neat and tidy. Step 2s is the exact same, except your keyframes are stepped. This makes them snappy. There's a handy little drop menu here that allows you to automatically make any future keyframes stepped. Although I don't personally rely too much on this as I've noticed it doesn't always work. The best and easiest way is to select all of your keyframes and hit the button that looks like a step. Give it a couple of clicks for good measure. So let's start by making Frankie look at the palm of his hand. To do this, we're going to just slightly lift the hand up on the second frame. Press the right arrow key twice and press M. Now move his hand up a little bit more, but a tiny bit further than the last movement. Press the right arrow key twice and press M again. Now we're going to move the hand even further than the last, but not too much. This is going to make the hand gradually build up speed. A good way to tell if you're doing this right is checking the distance between these green dots. You'll want the dots to be quite close together for slow movements, and quite far apart for fast, but always make sure they build up properly. When you finally want the pose to come to a complete stop, give it the same slowdown as you did the speed up, but this time, as it stops, give it a little bounce by moving it in the opposite direction a couple frames. This makes it look a lot less mechanical. Move ahead in the timeline and add another keyframe to give the animation some rest or pause. Now that he's looking at the palm of his hand, let's get him ready to snap his fingers. It's good to look at a reference of this if you aren't sure. We don't have to worry about the pose just yet, but it's good to keep in mind. We're going to make him raise his hand and whip it downwards. So start by bringing his hand up, using the same method as before, keeping an eye on the dots. Now we want to move his hand downwards in a very fast motion. Remember to give it a little bounce at the end of fast movements. Once we have that out of the way, we can work on the fingers. A great thing about SFM and 3D animation in general is that not everything has to be done at once. Work your way through at your own pace. I want his fingers to end of a first snap pose as he raises his hand. A little trick to make things easier is making two poses, selecting those keyframes and hitting the spline button right here which just smooths it out. Scrub through the space in between and press M every two frames. It's just a handy little way of getting those in between poses. If you have the auto step mode on, you'll need to spline the keyframes each time you press M. When you're done, step them again. And there we have it! It's a nice smooth transition, but it still holds the stop motion style that we want. Same thing as before, but we're going to make the snap pose appear on the exact frame his hand reaches the furthest dot. We don't need any in between poses here as it's moving too fast, but it's always nice to add some bounces to the fingers as the hand comes back up. Now that we have the snap done, we can go ahead and make the rest of his body react to it. It's exaggerated, but fun to look at. I like to work my way up the arm first, but then start from the lower body upwards. 
Instead of following the dots here, just watch the distance the top of a bone moves. It's the same concept, but you just gotta look at it a bit differently. Now that we're done here, let's have a look at the final product. Looks like Frankie isn't going to human resources anytime soon. You enjoy that meal, Frankie. You've earned it. For quick recap, animate in twos. Press M to add a keyframe and press the right arrow key twice. Stepped keyframes. Select all of your keyframes and click the button that looks like a step. Use the green dots as a guide. The closer they are, the slower the movement. The further they are, the faster the movement. Remember to start movement off slowly and gradually build up speed. Bounce. Make movements look less mechanical by moving the bone in the opposite direction for a few frames after a fast movement has ended. And spline cheat. When in doubt, spline two keyframes together and add more in between as one pose transitions to the other. And always remember, practice makes perfect. If it looks shit, keep at it and it'll eventually look amazing. Show me how you get on in the comments and I'll let you know how well you did, and things you should aim to work on. I might even feature it in the next tutorial that I make. One more thing to keep in mind, never render your video with motion blur using this style. The blur seems to get confused at the way the bones behave. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks and have fun.